Hello! Today I'm going to go over some basic information about how to use LiveDemo on Canius.com. First, you will need to create an account using the New Users button and then follow the instructions here on the web page to complete the process. Once you have done that, you can click the Existing Users button and enter your name and password to start the program. Once logged in, you will see this page on the screen. Here you are able to start looking through information by using simple functions in the system. To start off, there is some basic important information that we want to give you about how to enter applications. For instance, how to choose which applications you want to explore, and how to explore within specific applications. I will also show you how to use tools within the application once you have selected the one you want to access. There are different methods to reach applications in Canius ERP. When you click the, the menu tool on the left part of the screen, a column will appear, listing the available applications. From here, you can select the right application for your needs. This is the first way to enter applications. The second method is to add applications to the Favorites tab using the menu bar. You can also click the History tab where you can see a list of previously visited applications. In addition to these methods, there is a search bar at the top right corner of the screen, which is often the preferred way to access applications. When using the search bar, you can find applications in one of two ways. The first is by entering a word related to the application you are seeking. Once the search is made, the program lists the applications related to this word, in this case, sales applications. When I see the application I am looking for, I can simply click on it and be taken directly to it. Another way to use the search bar is to use the shortcut of the application. For example, if I type SALT, which also references sales applications, all sales sections will be listed in the results. From here, same as earlier, I can access the application by clicking on it. When entering the application, especially if you are using it for the first time, the company area here in the upper left may be empty. These filtration tools are one of the most important parts of the application. To modify them, click on the magnifier. Here I am selecting Company 01. This step should be the first task of the user to be able to continue. You may see some unspecific information in the filtration section that was entered previously. If we were to try to continue with this existing information, it may not work correctly. To avoid this problem when working within applications, we highly recommend that you click the F10 button to clear all information from the filtration section and be able to start smoothly. By clearing this section, you will be able to reach all of the data in this case from Company 01. I'm going to mention some other functions on the result page in the application. But before I do that, take note of the search results section. Right now there are 10 results listed, but there could be more and they might not all be what you are looking for. In this case, you can use the filtration tools to control the result. Under Document Type, for example, you can choose Order, and only Order documents will be listed as a result. As you can see, the result list has now been decreased to 6. Using other filter options will also change the amount of results you receive. By selecting any from the Search section, I will access all of the data. As we look through the program, these first application screens represent the surface of the software. 
Now I will go more in depth and show you how to access the details of the application. To see the details of the application that you selected from the result list, you can use either the pen or I button. The I button will give you a preview of the transaction without the ability to change any information in the record. For this reason, the Save button is disabled. If you instead enter the record with the Pen button, the Save button is now enabled and changes to information are allowed. To see the capability of an application, you can click on the tabs in the middle and view information within them. Here you can see what kind of functions the application has, as well as what kind of information can be saved within each section. All these functions that I have described are also common in the other applications. That means when you go into any section with the eye or pen to explore records, you will be able to use the tabs in the middle to see more detail. Another function is adding a new record. Here we use the plus button, as you may have already guessed. This button has two different uses. If I click the plus without choosing any data from the list, I will be creating a new blank record. If, however, I click the plus after selecting one of the previous records, as you can see when I select one now, I will be creating a record that has all of the same information, essentially giving me a template. If we create a new file this way, we can make a new record with the same properties as the old one, similar to the Save As function. So, as a review, if you want to explore applications, you can use the search bar and type either a related word or an application shortcut. By clicking the application, we are taken to a different screen, meaning we are now within that application. On the top part of the screen, you will see the filtration controls. Here, pay special attention to the company section or other filter options that may be compulsory. By using the magnifier, we can adjust the search. And again, when we open a new application, use the F10 button when beginning a new task. By using F10, you are able to reach all records, and so more options will be shown on the screen. Let's select another module to compare. Here you can see the Material Master Record. This is the application where we can see all needed materials. Just like before, the screen concept is the same. When we continue on to different details, we have the same options. Remember, you can see the functions and capabilities of the application from the tabs in the middle. Thank you for watching our live demo tutorial, and we hope this video will help you navigate smoothly through our software.